I've given the spotlight to a lot of high tiers on this channel, and while those are fun to talk about, I don't want to give the impression that you can't do well and have a fun and rewarding playthrough with mid-tiers, because oftentimes they're very reliable in a jack-of-all-trades sort of way. So today, we'll talk about the ocean's mid-tier heroes, the crustaceans. As always, there are far too many possible builds to cover, so I'll stick to the meta-relevant ones. And I suggest you do too, otherwise you and your comrades may end up being farmed for XP by bigger builds. Anyways, we'll start with what crustaceans have going for them. So right off the bat, you'll notice that many of them have a fairly unique weapon setup. Their claws can be used to inflict both crush and slash damage, meaning they're effective against soft-bodied and armored targets alike. And of course, they give the crustaceans a dependable grab. On the defense, they've got sturdy armor that is particularly resistant to bite attacks which makes sense when you're trying to survive on the same servers as fish, which usually rely almost completely on bite. While their base movement speed is mediocre at best, crustaceans are no slouch when it comes to bursts of speed. Their stealth isn't great, but they're so versatile with their movement on the ground that they can compensate by hiding in small crevices or burrowing into the sand. They're also versatile in their feeding. While they can fight and even defeat larger prey, and gain lots of XP by doing so, they're in no way forced to take that risk. They can sustain themselves just fine by scavenging scraps safely near cover. Lastly, some crustaceans have unlocked the trait Negligible Senescence, which means they have no limit to their total game time per playthrough, assuming they don't die in combat. With all that said, they ain't overpowered by any stretch. I already alluded to a few weaknesses, but let's take a more in-depth look. So, like I said before, their base movement speed is fairly low. Yes, they can dart away if needed, but this has a high energy cost and a sizable cooldown, so they can't use it too often or too many times in succession. While they've got great defense because of their armor, they are vulnerable when leveling up because they need to shed and replace it, and it's during this time where their low base HP stands out as a weakness. Lastly, their abysmal intelligence means that brainier builds can outplay crustaceans regularly, and that traps are more effective on them. It also makes their longevity less useful. I briefly talked about how Wisdom, Intelligence, and Longevity work, but to recap, Wisdom is gained over the course of your playthrough at a rate determined by your intelligence. This means that your intelligence level is much more impactful the longer your playthrough lasts. So unfortunately for crustaceans, the Wisdom gain is extremely low, so they kind of miss out in that regard. This means that noobs and veteran crustaceans often fall into the same traps. So what's the best way to play this sort of build then? There are three major game plans. The first is the jack-of-all-trades playstyle. This is the crab and lobster. Pretty much everything I've said about crustaceans so far is true of these builds. Versatile, reliable, and simple. The second is playing a fully committed support, gaining XP by curing the debuffs fish accumulate through hunting and feeding. And lastly, there is minimaxing. And if you don't know what minimaxing is... What are you, casual? Initiate phase one. Power of the Breeze Cannon. Fire! So there's two Minimax Crustacean builds that people usually go for. The Pistol Shrimp and the Mantis Shrimp. The Mantis Shrimp can either have maximum slash or maximum crush type damage, depending on which weapon they opt for. For their size, no attack is more powerful, and they can pose a serious threat to players much larger and traditionally powerful than itself. The Pistol Shrimp goes a completely different route, going for absurdly strong sonic ranged attacks. Now, while the Mantis Shrimp is minimaxed purely for DPS, the Pistol Shrimp is actually a hybrid between DPS and support. While all of its equipment is DPS based, it supplements its defense by using sea anemones for cover and defending that anemone from parasites. So there you have it, how to minimax with crustaceans. Got a topic, build, or aspect of the meta you'd like to see discussed on this channel? Leave a comment, or head over to my Patreon to really get my attention. This channel is growing faster than I ever could have anticipated thanks to some of my videos going viral on r slash videos, so special thanks to the mods over at